Howdy, folks. Welcome to Kevin Volrath's Fiddle Jubilee. My name is Walter Brennan, and I'm really delighted to be here with you today. Now sit back and enjoy some great music by Canada's fiddling sensation, Kelvin Volrath, and his special guests as they gather virtually to entertain you. Now put your hands together and welcome Mr. Kelvin Volrath. Take it away, Kelvin. Everybody dance. Episode number 12 of my Fiddle Jubilee. So thrilled that you've tuned in. Hope you've enjoyed that first tune, that first set of tunes. Let me tell you, the very first tune there, that was a tune called The Cracklin' Fire Two-Step, written by myself and the great master Métis fiddle player Johnny Arcan from Saskatchewan. We were teaching at the Emma Lake Fiddle Camp way back, oh, well, 1988 is when we started, so this might have been 19... 89, 1990, something like this, when we wrote this tune at a dining hall. It was, was kind of like shaped like a teepee, circular thing. And in the middle, they had this fire pit and we get the fires going and our concerts would be in there in the evening. People would sit around and when the fire was going, we could hear the fire just crackling. It was just so beautiful. The sound was great. It smelled great. Johnny and I wrote that tune right there, called it the Crackling Fire Two-Step. 
And then we wrote another tune for the great Métis fiddle player, Reg Bouvet from Winnipeg. And this was shortly after he passed away. And uh, John and I took a bunch of little pieces of Reg Bouvet tunes and put them together and called that tune the Reg Bouvet Memorial Two-Step. And then into a tune that I wrote for some friends of mine, Janet and Fonsi Delory, uh, originally from Antigonish, Nova Scotia, and now living in Edmonton. And uh, they come to all the dances back in the day when I was playing for dances and just absolutely wonderful dancers. Um, I'll tell you what, I found some old footage of a, a video of them dancing and spliced it in there and they're almost in time with the music there but they're dancing to something else uh just so great to see them dancing again a wonderful tune and uh, uh i hope they're doing well my first guest today is uh, a lady that comes from carol's corner in nova scotia and most of you will know her as a piano player. She plays piano for me lots. We've traveled around Canada and the United States, uh, but she's a wonderful fiddle player as well. Her name is Kimberly Holmes, and I'm absolutely delighted to be playing some tunes with her today. Uh, we're gonna play a tune uh, that I wrote for another dear friend of mine from Oyama, British Columbia. Her name was Joyce Montgomery. She was married to the great fiddle player, Bob Montgomery. And I would go out and stay at their place. Uh, it was like a second home. Beautiful location up on the mountain, overlooking the lake. And she just made the best pickles in the world. I know when I'd leave their place, she'd send me home with a big box of pickles. And uh, I, I wanted to write her a tune. And this become a very, very popular tune over the years. Fiddlers are playing it everywhere. It's called The Waltz of Joyce Montgomery. Put your hands together for Kimberly Holmes. <laughs>
Beautiful waltz, Calvin. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Hey, right on, Kimberly. So good, so good to see you playing the fiddle. We don't see you play fiddle that often. It's always on the piano. And so looking forward to coming out to uh, Truro, Nova Scotia this August for the Canadian Grandmasters. You're going to hear more about that a little bit later on. Right now, time to bring up uh, guest number two. And this gentleman comes from Quebec. His name is Germain Leduc. And another guy that has, he's a great piano player. And whenever I tour in Quebec in Ontario over the last 15 years or so, Germain is my piano player. And it's just wonderful. Uh, I send him a list of tunes that we're going to play, and he knows them. I can play absolutely anything when Germain's on the piano. And he's a great fiddle player as well. Everybody, we're going to play a tune here that uh, I wrote for a good, good friend of my wife, uh, Rhea. Her, her friend is Marise uh, Gregoire. She lived in uh, Ascot Corner, just outside of uh, Sherbrooke, a number of years ago. And so I wrote her a tune. And it's called Le Grebu at the Dascot Corner. Everybody put your hands together for Germaine Ledoux. For you, Maurice. fiddling there young man looking forward to seeing you at some point down the road hopefully this year we get to play some tune somewhere hey we're going to do something a little bit different this time i'm going to put my commercial earlier in the show so you can see i'm hoping that you might purchase a ticket to this show uh you know i, I put this out here on youtube and it's free for the world but 
take a lot of time to put this together. Uh, I really enjoy doing it, but I play for a living. Uh, this has been my profession all my life and the pandemic has made me look for new ways uh, to try to make a living uh, without uh, charging a ticket per se and uh, leaning on you folks if you're enjoying the show to maybe uh, send me a tip of whatever you think you could. All the information is on the screen in front of you. Uh, how to get me that tip, you can call it the price of a ticket for the show. And uh, if you can't afford anything, well, it's my gift to you. But if you send me something, I thank you very kindly. And so many of you have been sending something every month. There's 10 of you. Uh, it's kind of amazing. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people watch this show. Uh, it would be nice if, if you sent five bucks. Old Cal would be happy. Uh, I'm happy anyways. I love music. I love entertaining. And uh, Or go to my website. Uh, you know, the information's there up on the screen. Uh, buy a CD or all my music you can download immediately. Sheet music, the MP3s, everything. We got it all up there. You go check it out. CalvinVolrev.com. Thank you so kindly gonna slow it down right now and play a waltz and you know this fiddle here this is a this is a fiddle that I bought at Myers Music in Edmonton back in 1995 it built in 1994 so it was new when I got it I walked into the store and Alfie and Byron said Calvin you should try this fiddle I was in to buy some strings or something for my old fiddle all I could afford was strings. And they said, you should try this fiddle. I went, oh, no, I shouldn't. It looks too pretty, and I can't afford it. I know that. And Oh, no, they go, just give it a try. Well, I did. I picked up the fiddle, and when I picked up, I put the bow on the strings. This is what I played. And a whole melody came out from beginning to end, both parts. Absolutely amazing. I'm thinking... What is this waltz? These were the first notes that came out of this fiddle from me. It was not anything I knew. I had no idea what it was. Where did I hear that? Well, as it turns out, I wrote it. And this happens sometimes. You write a tune on the spot. It comes from beginning to end. And uh, that's magic. It's magic, magical somehow. We get help from somewhere on that. And it sounds a little bit Eastern European, Ukrainian a little bit, I think. Uh, and there's a lady that came to the Emma Lake Fiddle Camp every year, and she was in my class. Come from Winnipeg. Her name, Daria Watkin. And I believe she was Ukrainian. And she would play lots of music, Ukrainian, Eastern European. And as I was playing this, I was thinking of Daria, because it reminded me of her. So I called the tune Daria. I hope you enjoy. For you, Daria.
thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that too. And as it turned out, old Cal bought that fiddle. Ah, pretty nice folks at Myers Music. I'll tell you what, in Edmonton, they're the folks. If you need a fiddle, Roth. This is called a Roth model number 54. It sounds like a million bucks. I just love it. Feels like gold in my hands. Thank Hi, everyone. I am Kimberly Holmes, and I live in Carroll's Corner, Nova Scotia. And this has been a thrill to play these tunes with Calvin Volrath. <laughs> He's incredible, you. as you all know. I met Calvin uh, for the first time in 1985 or 86. I can't remember the exact year, but Carl Elliott and Bill Guest had talked about this great fiddler from the West, and he was going to be in DeBert, Nova Scotia. So I had to go and meet him, hear him play, and uh, I was sitting in the audience and Bill was there and I said, well, where is Calvin? I don't see him. And he said, well, here he is right in front of you. Calvin was sitting right in front of me and Calvin, you had a big white cowboy hat on. Yeah, right. Anyway, Carl Elliott and his son, Mike, who was playing piano for you at the time, and Bill were there. Uh, Gerald Elliott and his son, Bruce, were there. And Gordon Stobie and Skip Holmes were there at this concert, and I had no idea who these guys were. So um, I do now. <laughs> it's great. Um, so I, um, I had the pleasure of uh, teaching quite a few years at Camp Calvin. Uh, it was an incredible camp that was, and hopefully we can get back to being there in person again. It's in uh, St. Paul, Alberta, where Calvin lives. Um, so I, I teach piano and I teach fiddle and I've been very fortunate to back Calvin up on quite a few occasions. We, um, yeah, we so toured the States and the East Coast and um, this August I will get to play with Calvin again in yeah. Truro at the Canadian Grandmasters Fiddling Competition. It's coming yeah. to Truro August 25th and 26th and Calvin will be one of the judges. And um, we'll definitely have to have some tunes, maybe even possibly do a little East Coast tour, maybe. Oh, like so um, Calvin, as you know, he's, he's, I don't know how many tunes he's composed now. It must be up around 800. But I think one of his better tunes, or maybe the title of the tune is really special because um, it's called the Kimberly Holmes Reel. <laughs> Calvin wrote this for me. So this is the next tune that we're going to play together. Thank you, Calvin. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for those kind words. We're going to get you back to play another tune with us right now. Uh, we're going to play the tune that I wrote for Kimberly a number of years ago. Her husband, Skip. You know, she talked about Skip there a little while ago. Skip Holmes, when she came to my concert in DeBert, Skip Holmes was there in Gordon Stoby. She didn't know them. She ended up marrying Skip Holmes. And uh, great, great musician he is. He called me many, many years ago and said, hey, could you write a tune for Kimberly? And uh, it was in my plan to do that. He just uh, expedited the process. And uh, so we're going to play the Kimberly Holmes Reel. Put your hands together for Kimberly. Here we go, Kimberly. <laughs>
Love your fiddling, love your piano playing. Wow, big hand for Kimberly, everybody. Go to Truro, go to Truro, the Grand Masters. Last weekend in August, ooh, it's gonna be big fun. You know, it's thanks to my dad, Art Lefty Volrath, why I played the fiddle. He was a fiddle player, I'm the youngest of seven. And as far as I can remember, I can remember sitting with two butter knives when I was a little, little boy, playing beside my dad, pretending I was a fiddle player. And uh, we heard fiddle music all the time in our house. It's just what it was. And I got the love of fiddle from my dad. And luckily, um, Mr. Gary Hill in Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, he always had his video camera out at the fiddle contests or fiddle shows. And uh, he was, he'd send me videotapes. And so I have a few tapes of uh, my dad competing in fiddle contest way back in the day. I believe this might, gonna, you're gonna see a little video right now of my dad fiddling at the Prince Albert Winter Festival fiddle contest. And I'm not sure if the year's 88, 87, something like that. And he passed away in December of uh, 1988. So this is a special, special memory for me. Uh, this is my dad, Art Lefty Volrath. <laughs> So good to hear and see my dad play again. He had the touch, left-handed, 
playing on a right-handed fiddle. Wow, unbelievable. So good. Uh, thanks, Dad. Life is good. And you know what? Um, today, I think my dad would be real proud because today is April 2nd that this is premiering. And if you're watching this on April 2nd, uh, tonight at uh, 7 o'clock, Alberta time, Mountain Daylight Time, Old Cal is being uh, inducted into the um, Alberta Country Music Hall of Fame. Um, absolutely tickled by that. And I know my mom and dad would be so proud. Uh, I, I believe they'll be watching down upon that. And uh, I think it's being live streamed on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we can find the link. We'll maybe put it in the in the in the YouTube uh, comments if we can find that link. If not, search for it. And you can watch it tonight. Um, absolutely thrilled, and thanks to my dad for inspiring me to play the fiddle. Bonjour tout le monde. Mon nom est Germain Leduc. Je viens de Saint Stanislas de Casca, un petit village au Québec situé à 70 km au sud-ouest de Montréal. Euh, je joue principalement du violon et du piano. J'ai commencé à jouer de l'orgue, j'avais euh, trois ans. J'écoutais les airs que ma mère Rita pratiquait sur cet instrument, puis elle aussi jouait à l'oreille. Puis j'ai appris aussi en écoutant divers enregistrements qu'on avait à la maison. Vers l'âge de 15 ans, j'ai commencé à jouer du violon et du piano, et j'ai eu la piqûre euh, pour la musique traditionnelle. À chaque semaine, je participais à au moins une ou deux activités dans ma région, euh, des activités folkloriques organisées par euh, les Loisirs folkloriques de Valleyfield et la QLF Sud-Ouest. La QLF, c'est l'Association québécoise des loisirs folkloriques. C'est surtout de cette façon-là que j'ai appris mes pièces, euh, une multitude de pièces. Puis après un an ou deux, j'avais déjà ajouté à mon répertoire quelques pièces de Calvin que je trouvais très belles et très entraînantes. À partir de 2001, je participais à chaque année au Grand Rassemblement de Violonneux à Pembroke, Ontario. C'est là que j'ai rencontré Calvin pour la première fois. Il a été souvent un des trois juges au concours de violon. Et à chaque année, il faisait une prestation à l'attente de Gérald Duhem, toujours à Pembroke. Euh, Gérald Duhem, c'est un, un gigueur de Huntingdon. Il faisait ça le dimanche après-midi, son spectacle. Euh, Calvin. <rire> Il était souvent accompagné de Trent Bruner au piano ou Paul Dacier et Jacqueline Guérette à la guitare. Jacqueline est de Québec. Plein de gens se rassemblaient pour assister à ces spectacles uniques. Euh, plus tard, en 2008, j'ai reçu un courriel de Calvin me demandant si j'étais intéressé à l'accompagner au piano pour deux spectacles. Un au Club Lambie à Montréal et l'autre au festival de Gigant Fête à Sainte-Marie-de-Beauce. C'est avec un grand plaisir que j'ai accepté l'invitation, car Calvin est un des plus grands violonneux du Canada et il est un de mes idoles au violon. Lorsque je l'ai accompagné pour la première fois à Montréal, ça a très bien été. On n'avait jamais pratiqué ensemble. Il m'avait simplement envoyé ses pièces par Internet ou par, et, et par la poste sur CD et je les avais pratiqués chez moi. Euh, il a dit au public quelques fois durant le spectacle que c'était « amazing ». J'étais très content. Depuis ce temps-là, j'ai l'honneur et le plaisir d'accompagner Calvin lors de ses tournées au Québec et en Ontario. Euh, quelques jours avant le spectacle à Montréal, il m'avait envoyé un reel en MP3 qu'il venait de composer. Il m'avait écrit qu'il jouerait ce reel-là même s'il n'avait pas encore donné de titre à, ce, à sa composition. Alors, le soir du spectacle, il a présenté sa pièce comme étant le Rille Germain le Duc. J'en étais très fier. On retrouve cette pièce-là sur son album intitulé « 50. Vous aimeriez, vous aimeriez sûrement l'entendre. Alors, je vais vous la jouer tout de suite avec Calvin. Alors, bonne écoute. Thank you, Germain for the kind words there and uh, a treat to have you on the show. And uh, yes, we're gonna play the tune that I wrote for you, uh, Le Real Germain Le Duc. Everybody put your hands together for Germain. <laughs>
Sonle Toilette. <laughs> Love it. Hey, my French ain't very good. Not sure what I just said there. I think it was one. Where's the big mosquito? I don't know. Anyways, Jermaine, thanks so much for being a part of, uh, of uh, my little show here. Uh, you take care, and we'll see you down the road. And please, everybody, a big hand for my special guest this week, Kimberly Holmes, Jermaine LaDuke, Janet and Fonsi Delory dancing in the background there right on. We got time to do one more tune on today's show. Back in 1988, uh, I was guest artist at a fiddle contest in Miami. Miami, Manitoba. A lovely little town in uh, southwestern Manitoba where they had a huge fiddle contest and dance would happen on Thanksgiving weekend every year. Well, 1988 was the first time I went there. I was there many times after that. And I got to meet a couple from Billings, Montana, Harvey and Joe Chell. Um, uh, they loved me. They had never heard of me before, but they just loved my music. And they went back to Montana and they told uh, the president of the Montana Fiddlers Association, we need to get Calvin down here to Montana. So it's thanks to Harvey and Joe that I got going down to Montana for concerts and workshops and fiddle camps. I went down maybe 20 years in a row. Absolutely great, wonderful people. Harvey played the fiddle, Harvey played the piano. Um, Harvey and Joe are both passed on now. And uh, I wrote a tune for them many, many years ago. Kind of a Western swing number. This is called Harvey and Joe. See you all next month, everybody. Everybody sing.
Charlie, folks. Well, that was a great show, Calvin. Reminded me of the good old days right there. Hey, friends and neighbors, do us a favor and click on that subscribe button on Calvin's YouTube channel, and then you'll get notified when the next episode gets released. Because I know you, you ain't going to want to miss any. And don't forget to tell all your friends about the show. Well, that's it for now, folks. Until next month, take care, stay safe, and have a good day. See you at the next Calvin Woolrest Fiddle Jubilee. Yee-haw!